we're going to do one other example of how you can solve for the pH of a solution using this information that is provided here for this guy with our barium hydroxide. So barium hydroxide is a strong base, so it's going to completely dissociate and break up into ions. What that means is when you have your BaOH2, it does not stay together in a molecule form. It's going to break up completely into ions. So it's going to break up into barium ions. And we have two hydroxides this time. So we're going to write it like net ionic equation style where you bring that two out in the front. So yes, we have barium ions, but we have two hydroxide ions that come from each barium hydroxide formula unit there. So uh, let's do some math associated with this idea. So we're going to do 0.25 molar barium hydroxide. I'm going to expand that capital M to be moles of barium hydroxide per liter. We're trying to figure out the molarity, or yes, excuse me, the molarity of the hydroxide, and we know the molarity of the solution. Well, if you have one formula unit of barium hydroxide, it breaks up into one barium ion and two hydroxide ions. Well, if we had a mole's worth of barium hydroxide, we would get a mole's worth of barium ions, but we'd get two moles worth of hydroxide ions. So the molarity this time is going to be 0.5 molar hydroxide. So I used the same numbers intentionally. If you scroll back here, this was 0.25 molar hydrochloric acid. And in this example, the molarity of the solution matched the molarity of the ion. That's not the case in this problem because the molarity of the solution and the molarity of the ion are different. That's because every time a barium hydroxide dissociates, we get two OHs per barium hydroxide. Uh, so the molarity of the ions isn't going to match the molarity of the solution. This time, we want to know what's the pOH. So to get pOH, we need to do the negative log of the OH minus concentration. So we need to do the negative log of 0.5. You should get about 0.3 when you type that in your calculator. If we want to know the pH of that barium hydroxide, pH and pOH always add up to 14. So if we do 14 minus 0.3, we'll get the pH of our solution. 13.7. Now if we want to know the H plus concentration, H plus concentration is going to equal 1 times 10 to the negative pH, right? The P in pH stands for power. The power, the exponent of your hydrogen ion concentration is going to be 13.7 just negative 13.7. That's what we want, it's just not a properly written number. So we have to type that into our calculator, take it one extra step, and it turns it into 1.995 times 10 to the negative 14th H plus. Yep, sorry got my unit there, capital M, moles per liter hydrogen ion. Uh, your calculator might not be able to display that many digits. Maybe it says 2 times 10 to the negative 14th. That's fine as long as you're in the right general zone. You're okay. Always a good idea to just check and make sure, does my pH value make sense? pH of a base should be above 7. And it is. Now, 
it's time for you to try one and see how you do using these same ideas. I'm going to put the answer to this problem at the beginning of the next video.